Hello, it's Steve with Desert Dwellers, and today I'm going to do a little video on this um, Evolva uh, Future Technologies, the T67 Infrared Illuminator. Okay, I got this in um, five, six days ago. I got my 30 millimeter ring mount here, and then a quick detach hook to that so I can get it in and off the different rifles or scope. You know, I like to quick detach. Okay, now this is an awesome illuminator. I love it. When I ordered a kit, I ordered it with the um, 18650 batteries, which are these guys here. And um, the, the illuminator itself comes with these little plastic sleeves that the battery slips into. So they set them in their flush. Now the reason it needs that is because the batteries that it can hold are the much larger 26650s. Now you can see it's much more bigger around. This is a 5000 microamp hour compared to a 2600 microamp hour, so it's like twice the capacity. So I got these, got me a good night core charger, and of course they slip in beautifully. But the only thing you have to do with them is they came, there was a little white plastic ring. I got them flung around here somewhere. You just gotta pop them off to make it work with this lens or this scope. Excuse me, this illuminator. Okay, the illuminator. Remember my last review? Has an adjustable head. All the way down, wide angle, all the way out, very narrow. Um, works beautifully. Love it. Um, I found a setting in there. Um, the Excite scope goes down to three power. And that's what I normally set it on. So about two thirds of the way out to the narrow is a great spot. Everything is nice and bright, but my whole field of view is lit up. Awesome. My brother has a PBS7 night vision monocular, third generation, and he loves this thing. He's buying one himself because it just, it just lights up everything beautifully. Now, at one point, we're sitting there in camp and we're looking at this rock face, which is 295 yards away. I got a yardage, a bush now, Yardage Pro 1000, and I was getting 190 or 295 yards all the time. I double checked it with Google Earth from where we were camped to the rock face. It, it agrees it's the same distance. Now, when I'm on the semi wide, you know, narrow down, I can make out the rock face in the Excite 2 scope in night mode. But tighten that beam all the way up, all the way up, and it psh, lit it up like daylight. It was beautiful. Great picture. Now, the only thing, and I don't even really think it's a complaint, I read a complaint on a review, that when you're all the way out and then back just a little bit, you can see there's a little wobble in the head, right? So gravity, of course, is pulling it down. So when I'm looking through the scope, it's because it's a narrow beam at this point, it's kind of sitting low and the top part is dark and you kind of got it down here. So it's like dark here, beam here, bring your reticle down. I don't see that as a problem because you just take it all the way out, it hits up against something and tightens up and goes straight then. So I think it's, it's a non-issue for myself. Again, it's, it's incredible. I'm going to show a little bit of video after this one that I took of that rock face from her 295 yards away with the infrared illuminator. And it, just, it was just awesome. So anyway, thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for subscribing. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And we're going to keep putting more videos on as I make them and think of things to do and buy and enjoy. So um, thank you again and have a good day. Bye. I want to see how it does with a regular spotlight.